So what's exciting about these results is the fact that um, we don't see very often any studies that have 100% of patients alive uh, in this type of um, subtype of breast cancer uh, and in this setting. It's, it's incredibly rare. Over the last, I would say, 15 to 20 years, uh, we've been looking at breast cancer slightly differently, really understanding that there are many different subtypes of breast cancer. BRCA cancers uh, are uh, cancers that people get who ha carry some kind of hereditary, um, what we call pathogenic variant, so a change in the gene that uh, makes uh, the, the gene misbehave. Men and women who are, uh, carry the BRCA gene uh, um, often present much earlier in terms of the age that they present with their cancer. Um, it's often a much, much more aggressive cancer. And so it's particularly important really that we can find a, uh, a good way to treat and hopefully cure uh, uh, patients who are diagnosed with uh, BRCA-related breast cancer. My name's Jackie Van Bokhoven. I have three daughters. Uh, two grandsons and um, in my spare time um, I really like travelling. It doesn't have to be far. We have a camper van and I really enjoy setting up for weekends and just being away from it all really. I was diagnosed with um, breast cancer, BRCA1 breast cancer in um, February 2019. The cancer was picked up very small, the tumour was very small but very aggressive. Looking back on it, I was completely shocked and numb actually. There were so many things going through my head. What about my children? What about school? Um, I was thinking about my mum who'd been diagnosed with breast cancer, my sister who'd had breast cancer, and um, I was pretty worried actually. The new approach that we took really derived from a conversation that I had with Mark O'Connor from AstraZeneca. And he had found that spacing out the drugs, so giving the chemotherapy uh, on day one, and then waiting for 48 hours, and then giving the PARP inhibitor, seemed to do, in the lab at least, less damage to the bone marrow. Um, and he mentioned that in a conversation. And I thought that sounds really interesting. Maybe that's true for patients as well. And so we changed the design of the trial to give that spacing. I heard about the partner trial at my first oncology appointment at Addingbrooks when I met Professor Jean Abraham. And she explained to me that they were starting a new partner trial. And she felt that I was an ideal candidate for that trial. And would I be interested in taking part? So the partner study is what we call a phase three neoadjuvant study and all that means is that it's quite a large study looking at effectiveness um, and it's upfront chemotherapy, so before surgery. There were two arms that contained the drug Laprib given also with those chemotherapy agents. One of the arms gave the drugs two days after the chemo started and one gave it two days before. And what we found was in the arm where you gave the drug, uh, the drug Alaparib two days after you started chemotherapy, that although the group of patients were a small number, 100% of them were alive at 36 months. And 36 months is a really key point for this cohort of patients because quite often uh, in these patients, they have either relapsed or died, unfortunately, in that time frame. Timing the chemotherapy and the elaparib uh, and dis distancing um, how you give those with a 48-hour gap, so giving the chemo first, then the elaparib, that timing has been critical to the results because it has allowed uh, less toxicity but really great impact on the cancer cells. And I guess the temptation is to say, well, it's just because it's a small sample size. But because of the biology behind it, and because we have an explanation for why there's a difference, we're really uh, confident that actually when we do the other confirmatory trial, that we will see that confirmed in a larger cohort. At the moment, I'm well. I'm back at work, working part-time, um, enjoying life. Uh, the trials has been really positive for me. Uh, five years on, I'm well and happy and just taking every day as it comes really. I just think you look at life differently um, after, after having cancer and um, you know, every day is um, a bonus.